let us now study exponent. Exponent. It tells how many times we're going to multiply the base to itself. We have here e raised to x. x is your exponent while e is your base. If we have a squared, that is simply equal to a times a. And a cubed is equal to a times a times a. We can only add and subtract similar terms, meaning the power of the variables are the same. We have here a plus a is equal to 2a. ab plus ab, that is simply equal to 2ab. 3a minus a, that is 2a. 3b squared minus b squared is equal to 2b squared. Now we have here 2a plus 3a. What is your answer? That is 5a. Okay? 2ab plus 3ab. What is your answer? Okay. It is 5ab. 7xy minus 4xy. That is 3xy. 5x plus 3x minus x. The answer is 7x. Alright? 5x squared plus x squared minus 3x squared. The answer is 3x squared. Okay? Now we have multiplication of powers. If we have a squared times a cubed, that is simply equal to a times a times the quantity a times a times a. And that is equal to a raised to 5. Okay, if we have a raised to m times a raised to n, that is equal to a raised to m plus n. We're going to add the powers if they have the same base. Okay, for example, we have 2a times 3a. We're going to multiply the numerical coefficient and that is 6. Then a times a, that is a squared. 5x times 2y. 5 times 2 is 10. X times Y is simply XY. Now we have here X squared times 4X. That is equal to 4X cubed. 2 plus 1 is 3. So we have here 4X cubed. Now let us evaluate negative 2X squared Y times negative XY cubed. Negative 2 times negative 1, that is positive 2 x squared times x, that is x cubed. y times y cubed, that is y to the fourth. Okay? Negative 4ab times 3ab. Negative 4 times 3 is negative 12. And a times a is a squared. b times b squared is b cubed. Okay, and we have here 4x raised to 5 and y squared times negative x to the fourth y. 4 times negative 1 is negative 4. x to the fifth times x to the fourth, that is x to the ninth power. y squared times y is y cubed. I hope you got it. Now we have division of terms. We have here a raised to m divided by a raised to n. That is equal to a raised to m minus n. We are going to subtract the powers if they have the same base. We have here a raised to 5 divided by a cubed. 5 minus 3 is 2. That's why we have here a squared. Next, we have negative 5. x raised to 4 divided by x squared. Negative 5 divided by 1 is negative 5. x raised to 4 divided by x squared is 4 minus 2. You have x squared. I hope you can follow. Now, we have 6x squared y cubed divided by 3xy squared. What is your answer? 6 divided by 3 is 2. x squared divided by x is x. Now, we have y cubed divided by y squared. That is y. 
negative 4a cubed b squared divided by negative 2ab. Negative 4 divided by 2 is 2. a cubed divided by a is a squared. b squared divided by b is b. Now we have 10yz squared divided by negative 5xz. Can you evaluate this? Thank you.